Okay, guys, we're going to discuss dumbbell rows, another movement that I see done not poorly, but just so many variations. I'm going to show you the variation I like the most, and we'll talk about some of the mistakes that people make when they are rowing. Okay, so Terry, why don't you get it? The first thing I want you guys to see is when me and Terry train back, we do our dumbbell rows off the rack. Okay, if you don't, if the gym is empty, you can do that, but don't be the annoying guy at the gym that's like on the rack while there's like 15 people around you. You can also do them like standing at a at a shoulder at a bench like this. Okay, if I'm standing here, it's kind of the same thing. So if you find if you want to get out of the way, find a bench and do them this way. Okay, but what you see is my feet are together or a little bit apart at most, but I'm I'm standing up. I'm not I'm not on the bench doing like this shit. Okay, and the reason I'm doing that is I want to take my legs out of the movement. I don't want my legs helping me drive the weight. It's going to be all elbow movement and all back doing the work. So Terry, show me, show me a rep. Just do some reps. Okay, so you see his legs, his legs are together and they're straight. He's at a, like a 60 to 90 degree angle somewhere in there and he's rolling the weight. Now one of the things you see is, roll it a little higher, there you go. So he's not pulling, everybody thinks you have to pull back to your hip to activate the lower lat. You don't have to do that. What you're looking for is a sweet spot between the, the ribs and the hip. Somewhere in here, okay? It doesn't have to be perfect. Don't overthink it. But this is the area you're looking at. If you pull too high, you're gonna end up doing all teres and all rear delt. If you pull too low, you're not gonna get enough of a back contraction because you're not gonna be pulling high enough. See, I, some, I see some guys pull like to here. I see some guys pulling down and back and it's just not a, a high enough movement. So when you pull here, you get a, a more of a range of motion. So I want you to pull in this spot right here, right where this gap is. Go. And again, you guys can see, he's not, he's not bringing his body to the weight. You know, see some guys pick up like a 200 pound dumbbell and they'll row their upper body. They'll try rowing and they'll move their whole body and then they'll try and catch it with their weight, with their upper body. Again, that's not a row, okay? Your body will stay still as it's, as you braced yourself with the dumbbells. You brace yourself here and then you're just moving your arm, okay? This is the only point that's moving. The other thing you don't wanna do is, you see some guys turning their whole body, okay? They're not rowing with their arm, they're not rowing with their elbow, like the, the point of exertion being the elbow. They're not using their back, they're, doing, they're using their whole torso. The weight is too heavy and they're doing this. They're, they're turning their whole bodies. Okay, this also is not doing anything. Okay, you're just building a big core or big obliques. I don't even know what the fuck that's doing. But if you want to do it properly, your body will be stationary and you're just exerting all the force from the elbow and rowing the dumbbell to your body. Show me a couple more reps. We're trying to build this meat right here. Terry doesn't have any. So he needs to do more dumbbell rows. <laughs> but this is, <laughs> cut. No, this is this is the section we're trying to build. Okay, this is what the dumbbell row is for. We're trying to build out this lat. Couple more reps. Okay, that's your form right there. That's perfect. And that's dumbbell rows. 